Okay. So this is what we're going to use. This is the template I made. I like this design. We're going to refine this a little bit more. Okay, so let me bring this down here. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And let's bring this up as far as we can. We're going to make a couple of these and do some different weight, weights and stuff on them, different profiles. Okay, so there's one, and then we're going to make another one. We'll do it upside down. Uh, turn it upside down, draw, 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 draw. Okay, so now let's, I don't want this so, so we're going to come out here. I kind of want this to come to a point. I don't want it so wide. There, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Sorry guys, neighbors cutting grass, cars going by. Not a good time to do a video. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this cut out. We'll cut lengthwise first. It's going to be pretty noisy. So there we go. There's our two lures we're going to make. And we're going to get these cut in half after we get all this sanded and routed. Okay, so we are, so now it's time to do some sanding. I just put a new sanding disc on. So we're going to get all this sanded up and nice and smooth. forwards kind of like that so there's our 50 degree lift let's do the same thing let's figure out how far we're going in about three quarters of an inch okay right about there 
there. And there's 50 degrees. Okay. Okay, so now that I have the lips already drawn out or cut, we're going to draw our eye sockets. We're going to get those placed. So I have this template here, which we're going to take it right at the end there. And we're going to make a circle. There's one. Do the same thing. There's two. Now we're going to take it over to the drill press and we're going to get the eyes drilled out. Alright, let's get this drill bit put in. Okay, so we got this nice and clamped in, and let's get this drilled. Make sure we hit our center, there we go. And, I hole marked. Same thing. Okay, now we're going to put in our Forstner bit. Okay, so let's get these eye sockets drilled out here. There we go. Same thing on this side. This is probably the scariest part of the whole build is doing this router so we're going to round this out a little round the edges out and then after that i'm going to take it over to the vise and start sanding it so let's get this rounded out There it is. So now we're just now we just have to uh, take this over to the vise, sand it, and then we'll cut it in half, and we'll start on the inside and getting all the weights and the wire done. Okay, so now it's time to get the body sanded. So we're just going to kind of go like this down the middle. And I kind of want to make this a steep angle. Same thing on the other side. And what I want to do is I want to try getting this going all the way down, across down the sides too. Round it out a little bit. While trying to keep this pencil line intact. 
There we go, that's better. Okay, starting to look like a lure. There we go. It's looking pretty good. And there you have it. Same on both sides. Okay, so this is a very nerve-wracking part, is I gotta have this perfectly centered to cut. So now we're gonna start cutting. I've got the two halves all done here. They're cut and now I'm ready to actually start drawing out where I want the through wire to go and um, and then the internal weighting system that, I, that I've been using on a few lures. So there's no drilling lead holes. It's all we um, route the lead holes at as close to the bottom as I can get. So it'll probably be up in here where the wood is the thickest. I'm gonna put a little bit up here. I'm gonna put a little bit up here. Another one over here in between the two hook hangers. And then a smaller one down here. And hopefully that balances us out. Um, the big thing that we do with that I do with this is I also weigh um, the sections when I'm done so I know how much lead I need to put in. So let's get started on this. So I've got the lure split in half and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I've got it kind of marked where I want the channel to be for the through wire. I did this off camera so we can get an idea, but I'm going to show you what it looks, how I do this. Um, okay. So I have, so I have a Dremel right here and I have a bunch of Dremel bits that I bought off of Amazon. They work really well. Um, I think they were like maybe 10, 10 bucks for for the lot. So, and we're just going to use this, and we're going to route out the channel, and then I'm going to route out um, the lead holes. When that's all done, we're going to get the wire bent, and um, that's actually the internal. Actually, fill up the lead holes, weigh each section to make sure the weights are equal. And then um, we'll put it, we'll get it glued up together with some, uh, with some epoxy. And then after that, it's again, sanding it, making it smooth. We'll get the diving lip made, get it fitted. And, um, and after that, it's sealing it, painting it, and then uh, that's it. So let's get started. On. Again, we're going to take our time. We need to have a steady hand. And sometimes what I like to do, just to kind of mark them, since I already have everything marked, I'm going to put this together like that, and then just mark where all these are going to go, like so. Okay, so 
so everything's marked, so I have a reference now. Do the same thing with this one too. I think that'll work now. Let's see. Oh, absolutely, that'll work. Cool. All right. So let's uh, let's get these drawn out. All right, three sixteenths. Okay, so I've got the through wire bent and all the lead holes are filled in. And let's check a weight and let's make sure this, this thing weighs, uh, make sure they're equal. Okay, so the first one is 22.9 grams. That's one half. And the other half is, well, we're 22.7. So we're going to take a little bit off of this one real quick. So let's take a little bit off that. So we're just going to take just a little bit off. That's all we need to do. We don't have to take off a whole lot, just a smidget. So let's take a smidget off. Um, we can go here. Yeah. Let's see if that made a difference. So twenty. 22.7 again. Wow, this is this is interesting. 22.8. Okay, so I mean we are really close. I'm I'm fine with leaving this where it's at. Let's take just a little bit more off. I'm gonna take a little bit off the back here. Let's see. Wow, interesting. 23.2 and I think this was, okay, we're perfect, good. So that's it, that's that, we're done. So now it's time to put all this together. Okay, so now that these halves are equal in weight, what, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put epoxy on all of this we're going to place the wire in, 
but I'll probably do that tomorrow. And then we're going to put it together, put it on the clamp and get it clamped. And that's that. And then we'll let it dry. And then when it's all dry, we'll get it all sanded smooth and we're done. And then we'll start working on the diving lift and everything like that. Actually feels pretty good. So all together, let's see, 46. So it's about 50, looks like about 50 grams. Okay. So I think maybe we can get this epoxied in real quick. So we'll see on the next, uh, on the next part of the lure. So basically the lure is all put together. Um, got it all sanded, put a coat of finish or put a coat of sealant on it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the diving lip cut out. So I've made a few templates and this is what I came up with. I've done it on a couple other lures and it seemed, seems to work out pretty nice. So we're going to cut this out of a piece of lex sand and then we'll get it fitted to the lure. Probably get it all epoxied in and then, I'll, then we're going to start painting. Okay, so there's our diving lip, and there now what go. I'm going to do is like. I'm going to get it all sanded down on, on our disc sander lip. here. That's just mocked up. So now we're going to make sure this is all level and straight. And then get it glued in. And for that I'm going to use some 5 minute epoxy. Okay, so here's what I have. We have the lure complete, basically. I've got the diving lip I glued it in, um, as you saw when I cut it. So it's all glued in with some epoxy, got it all taped up. And this is all prepped and ready to go, so we're gonna get this painted. I think first I'm gonna go over it real quick with this, and scuff it up with some sandpaper. Okay. All right, so there it is sanded and all scuffed up and it's ready for paint in opaque white. Okay, then we're gonna go over that with, we're gonna paint the, the entire body pearl, a pearlized white. Um, there, I think you guys could see that there, pearl white. And then we're gonna do some accents. I'm thinking either I'm gonna paint it down here with this fluorescent yellow or I'm going to do the entire underneath, which I'll probably do the entire underneath and then up on the tail. And then obviously we're going to paint the gills, red eyes and um, silver scales. And then we're going to call it done. So let's get started painting. And like I said, we're going to do a first base coat of opaque white. And there's our base coat of white. Next up is going to be pearl white. 
Okay, up next is, it's gonna be pearl white. And pearl white is gonna go across the whole body. It's gonna be just the entire body is gonna be pearl white. So let's get, let's get painting. And we'll do a few heavy coat, a few coats of this. Okay, so the next uh, color is going to be fluorescent yellow. And that is going to go right along the bottom of the lure. Uh, it's going to go right, right across here and then right up in here. Unless we just leave that, I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's do this first. There we go. Ah, it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of liking that. Ah, it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of liking that. There we go. I can just pick, kind of picture this moving through the water. You know, really flashing. There we go. I can just pick, kind of picture this moving through the water. You know, really flashing. Okay, so next up um, is we're going to paint the scales. I've put a, cloth, a mesh cloth over it, over the lure, and I got it nice and tight. And the plan is I'm going to do silver here, silver here, and then what I'm then what I want to do is I want to tie it all in with um, some very light like trans like a transparent black all the way down the down the side here or down the top. I'm sorry, down the top. And then we'll get the gills painted, paint the head, and then we uh, and that'll be it. So the head's going to be a mixture of the silver that I use for the scales. Uh, this pearl white and probably somewhere down in here I'm going to use this uh, chartreuse. So what I like to do when I'm painting the heads on, on my lures that you guys have seen um, on all my videos is I like to use the, the colors that I've used on the body and I like to incorporate that in the head and then usually what I like to do is go over that in a um, pearl or a color shift col um, type paint. On this one, I don't think we're going to do that. I think I'm just going to paint the gills and the eyes. And then I may do the head. Um, I've got to decide what, how I'm going to do that. But I've got some time, so let's, um, let's, get, this, let's get these scales painted and see how this, um, this lure is going to look. And I don't have silver paint anymore. I've used it all up. I haven't bought any. So we're going to mix our, our own um with some black and some pearl white and get a nice pearl silver out of it so we can make our scales we're going to start off very light Next up is transparent black, and I'm going to do the transparent black right down the top here. Okay. 
do that right across the top. So let's get this dried off again. Okay, so there's what it looks like. Now I want to do the top and transparent. Spitting or no spitting, let's see what happens. Okay, that's that. So now what I want to do, now I'm going to unveil the scales. Let's try this off first. And then we'll unveil the scales. I think this is going to look pretty cool. Here we go. All right. So far, so good. Pretty, pretty excited, pretty enthusiastic. Can't wait to see what these look like. I think we got some pretty kick butt scales here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now that is, that looks awesome. Wish I had better lighting. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to call this body done. It just looks too darn good. And then we're going to do the gills. So I'm going to paint the head opaque white and that will add a lot of depth to this. So we'll do that. Um, I'm going to let this set and we'll do it later. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to start painting the head. And what I like to do is I like to paint this part. I like to paint the head in opaque white. That kind of leaves me an area where I know where I want to put the gill. And then on top, and then when that's all done, what I like to do is I like to take all the colors that I used on the body. So all these grays, the silvers, the, um, opa the pearl whites, all those colors I like to kind of incorporate in here as shading. Sometimes doing random colors, other times like um, on, on this one, for example, I kind of used, I went in order how I did the colors on the body. I did the same colors on the head. So, but you noticed a very fine line for the gill. So that's what we're going to, that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, got the diving lip all taped off. So let's, let's start painting. Get that dried up. Let's go, let's do the other side. Let's unveil that. Let's see what this looks like first before we um, put this on the other side. Okay, so there we go. There's what it looks like. So next, there's going to be a lot of changing of uh, paint colors um, and a lot of cleaning the brushes. So this is probably going to be the longest process because it requires a lot of cleaning between uh, coats. So bear with me and we'll get started on this and we'll, let's, uh, we'll get going on this part. 
Okay, so the first color that I'm using on the head after the opaque white is going to be a pearl white. So here's our pearl white. Okay, so here we go. So all I'm doing is just painting right here where the gill is. That's it, in the head. That's all we're doing. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so you can really see the difference with the pearl and without the pearl. There's pearl, no pearl. Get that dried off. A little bit more. Okay, so here we go. This is, we're, I'm just gonna do around the top and maybe somewhere around the gills here. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of red there, I'm gonna, but I'm probably gonna paint that on with a brush. I kinda like that. I don't know what you guys think of that. I kinda like it. Yeah, let's make it a little bit darker right here. And definitely separate the two halves. Just like, yeah, a little bit darker here. There we go. I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And then I want to go darker like here. Go in here a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do some transparent black if I still have some, which I don't think I do. I'm all out. So we're going to use this wicked jet black. Just across here and I think that will tie everything together and we're going to do our line here. I'm going to put a little bit of red down here um, and then put our finish off our gills and then that should be it. Okay so now we're actually nearing the completion of this uh, lure and the next step is to paint the eyes. Now I make my own eyes, you can buy them if you want, um, but I make them. I use these half round glass domes that you can get off of Amazon. You can get a pack of like 200 or whatever it is. There's a ton of them, it should last you forever. But these are uh, 10 millimeters. So then I have a stencil that I made for my eyes. And we're gonna use an airbrush with some black spray, with some black paint. And that's going to be our pupils. And you can make these as simple or as complicated as you want. Um, there's nothing wrong with however you want to do it. I tend to sometimes, I've been going on quite the simple route. Um, I think for the sake of this, since these lures are actually used for fishing, um, I kind of just want to kind of keep it simple. And what we're going to use, what I'm going to use here is some opaque black. I'm going to use the bigger pupil. The ones I've been using have been the smaller ones, and I don't really like how it turns out. Um, the idea is you got to try to find the middle. So what we can do, which I just thought of just now, is we can kind of mark that 
I made a mark there. And if we can keep that in the middle, just like that, as a reference, and then we take this, our template, and we try to keep that in the middle, we can take our spray paint, our airbrush, and we can spray the eye, the pupil, there. And we're kind of, well, we're pretty off-center, but, you know, I don't think that's bad. Right, let's redo it. That's in the middle. Okay, good. There we go. So now we're going to do this one, and we're going to let that dry. And we're going to do our next one. And try to do the same thing. Keep that in the middle, like that. All right. There's our pupil. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And then we got this one to do. Okay, so the eyes are done. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Okay, so the eyes are done. The next step is we glue and them the on with some epoxy. Is we glue them and on with some epoxy. That, um, and after that, we go ahead um, with our two-part epoxy, and then we go ahead with our two-part epoxy, 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 and then we're going to actually put a coat of epoxy on the I need to sign it. But before I, I do, do that, I need to sign it. I need to put um, my signature on it. I gotta find my pen, but um, um, I gotta find my pen. But we're gonna take um, a small break, and we'll be back. Um, this lure is ready for clear coat, so I'm gonna put the first coat of clear first clear coat on, which I think might be the my only clear coat on this. Uh, just because I really want to use this tomorrow. And I'm using 30 minute epoxy where normally I would use a, um, a longer setting epoxy. Where I would probably have less air bubbles. But I'll still get, the, I'll still get good results with this. I just won't go on as thick. Oh.
Okay, so I'm going to use the heat gun to smooth this all out and get rid of the air bubbles, put it on rotisserie, and then we'll come back in about, uh, I don't know, probably